Kicking off Zero Ween, we are going to be playing Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer for the original Xbox. This is going to be my first time ever streaming directly from an original Xbox. Um, I've played a few original Xbox games before on the channel, but they were all done via backwards compatibility. This is a working one we have now, so I can play it on the real console and play games like this that I haven't been able to play. Um, so I, I owned this one when I was a kid. I never beat it. I love this series. You guys know I played the first two on the channel. We're gonna. This is the third and final one in the series. These Hunter games are amazing. Really good couch co-op games and just a fun time. Yeah, no better way really to kick off the, the Halloween season than with a Hunter game. They are horror dungeon crawling beat em ups with very 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 light RPG elements. And Nick is playing eFootball. Oh, nice. Harry Kane, you got on your team? <laughs> Was it a Coutinho diving header? What's up, Silver Flame? How are you feeling? The Hunter of the Reckoning looks like Primal. Oh, the Primal game on PS2. Yeah, I guess, like, the character here kind of looks like the character from that. But totally different type of game, I think. I haven't played Primal, but I do have it. I think it was a ghost host recommendation so i believe the girl in the front of this game is the little girl that you save in the first hunter game now she's grown up and she's like helping you or something i think i could be wrong though but i'll probably be her i'm usually judge so there's like avenger defender you know avenger's been in it there's judge martyr they were all in the first couple and then redeemer she is the new character so I think we'll, why don't we play as her for this one. Oh, 22 yards up. Oh, this is quiet. In 1865, over 100 workers were trapped in an access tunnel in the East Village of Waterloo. Jameson determined that it was more cost effective to hire new workers than to blast them out. It took them six hours to die. In 1912, 35 children disappear over the course of the summer. Only five of their partial remains are ever recovered. In 1946, a group of vampires moves into the prison and begins a 50-year reign of torture and terror. The inmates are used like cattle, and its actions prompt the largest undead insurrection in recent history. Only the intervention of four remarkable individuals, one my own adopted father, saves the town from destruction. Oh, Judge is her father? It is impossible to commit so many atrocities in a single place without consequence. Ashcroft is a city built The teddy bear from the first game. Yeah, see, that's her. If we were smart, we'd pay the whole damn town over and turn it into the world's biggest haunted place. Okay, well, that's a <laughs> interesting opening. I haven't played this game in a long time. I'd never beat it. I'm hoping that we can beat it now. Um, yeah, man, it's been forever. So I don't, I don't even remember a lick of this one. But I'm excited. I'm excited. Now, Meridave, what's up, Meridave? Putting in all the commands. I see. <laughs> His old teammate, Son, also just scored an incredible finesse goal. Yeah, you got Son up there. He's awesome. Your team is looking good, huh? They're a toy company? Wait. No. So from what I remember of this game, the little that I do, the gameplay wise, I think, I think I'm gonna like it more than the second one because the first one's still the best. 
Like I said, the second one I played, and that was my first time playing it. That one was like, it was good, but it wasn't as good as like the first one. I gotta see how this one is. We have the smaller Xbox controller, so this is a, this isn't the launch edition controller with the big ass. I have one that big, but this is the newer, the revised version that they had released. Obviously, the cord with the cord. <laughs> back before controllers were cordless. This is a nice controller though, it's not that bad. A little clunky, these old Xbox ones, but it does the job. Redeemer. Kaylee, yeah. So this is 10 years after the first game. So wait, how old is she supposed to be then? Cause she was like real little. She's supposed to be like eight or something. Maybe she's supposed to be eighteen or nineteen. I'm guessing she's probably about eighteen or nineteen here. Yeah. Dude, we're off the bat we're fighting like a werewolf. Or two werewolves. Or three. <laughs> See if I can get this. So this is a twin stick kind of game. What? There's the team. No. She just flips down. Like, what was her power? Do you really want to do this? <laughs> Lee. All right. We go, up we go. And these games generally aren't too long, so it's it something we can beat more. maybe in a few streams of it. Amy, are you alright? More of the time. <laughs> I am not leaving the experiment with you, that's all. <laughs> no, Deuce, he's a hunter. So he's trying to take out the beasts too. By controlling the shipments of Genefix? You don't have to. Everyone, get ready. Let's get this show on the road. Messy. You got messy on the score sheet? Oh yeah. This game would look great on Xbox consoles and PlayStation. 
four and five. What do you mean? Well, I don't, I don't know if it's on current consoles or not at all. Like, I'm not sure if they put it like for down for download. Man, I, I need to figure out how to play here. I think the graphics look good considering you know this is an old game. So I'm never one that's too bothered by graphics. I can't appreciate good ones, but for me it's about the gameplay. I have some of that. Right, that's how you jump. Right, oh, here's the sword. Oh, nice. Okay. Get back in the groove of Hunter the Reckoning. So good. Once I figure out the controls here, remember how to play this. I have some of that. Here's the action button. Which one's that? Oh. There we go, there we go. It's weird, I own all three Hunter games all on separate systems. I have the first one on GameCube. The second one, which was only released on PS2, I have on obviously on the PS2, and then this one on original Xbox. <laughs> so all the controls are kind of different. All the different consoles. But uh, they're, they're great games. This one was also released on... I think this one might have been a PlayStation and GameCube as well. I don't know. The first one was released on, I think, everything at the time. For some reason, Wayward was only on PlayStation 2. games so much. That's a heal glyph. We don't even like need that right now. Oh the edges, that's right, the magic things. I don't I don't even know what his, hers is. I always like judges because it was like that spray of magic that would kill enemies. It's so good. Wait for Lucy and you're supposed to be protecting him? Well, he's an idiot and doesn't know how to walk up the stairs. Come on, Lucian. This way. This was like the worst part of the second game was that one like uh, escort mission. It was just, it was so bad. I can see we're already starting off with an escort. At least he's helping me fight. can get pretty difficult by yourself. They're meant, they're better, you know, co-op, for sure. Oh, he does have a health bar, huh? my oh does it make them attack each other that's actually pretty good I got incendiary ammo good 
street has been secured. All right. What are those purple, yellow, and green bars? See, I don't know what all that is. actually upgrade anything in this? That'd be kind of cool. Oh wait, is it a... Let's get this down here. That's an energy refill, I think. There you go, have fun. I like that she's a good mix of range and melee. And she's fast. She's not like as strong maybe as some of the other characters, but she's got speed and she's got a good combination of however you want to play. I think those bars up there might be like levels or something. Whoa, what the heck did I just do? Rose them or something. Like maybe certain upgrade things? I guess they'll tell me. Could look at the manual. So I'm like, I don't remember. Dude, this game's so awesome. These games are just so underrated. So underrated. Bonus continue awarded. That's big. We want as many of those as we can get. For sure. Fix the camera a little bit here, guys. There we go. So first part done. We're rocking with zero ween here. Because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to stream tomorrow, so I definitely wanted to get streaming tonight because uh, I'm not gonna be home for most of the day tomorrow. I don't think I'll be home tomorrow night. Uh, but hopefully Sunday night again we can do more zeroween. My friends. Have some fun, have some fun. We might try out the, uh, I was gonna do Little Nightmares 2 tonight, but I don't think I'm gonna get around to that. I didn't have time to install it after I got home from work and all that, so. So we might uh, we might try out the Texas Chainsaw Massacre tonight. Depends on how long we play this. Um, just cause like I already have that installed. We have plenty of other games to start. So we'll get like two or three different horror games going with some multiplayer ones as well, and then. You know, once we beat one or two, we'll, you know, weave in others. Should be a fun, fun month of horror gaming, guys. <laughs> the monster stole the explosives we need. So I need seven charges. Alright, so there's like, oh, six charges remain. So there's things like this in the other games. We gotta collect something that you need. I don't have enough explosives yet. Oh gosh. Oh, where am I going then? This way? Nope, that way's blocked. They're fighting somewhere while I'm here. Oh, I got an explosive already. I got another one. And another one. With each one I kill, I get one, it seems like. My melee skills increased. Okay, so you do level up each thing individually, depending on how much you use it. So it's probably your melee, your range, and your your edge that you can upgrade, I'm assuming. 
That's cool. So we see level two melee right now, which I guess makes us a little bit stronger. Kind of like grind right here and get a uh, higher level, maybe. For this, we're finding so many explosives that we don't even need. What? Okay, he didn't even say anything. Sun and Kane connect for Kane hat trick. You excited to see how co op works? I feel like you'd enjoy this team as much as I am right now. We probably have some good matches. Could I like play with that team? Like with you, like co op? Because that would be pretty sick. So I'm kind of. I might start my own one. I don't know. Like I said, even if we just did like practice matches and stuff, it'd be fun. Killing a few more enemies to get one more grind in. Is that it? Oh, let's go here. I love the atmosphere of these games too. Like they're always just it's really good. Let's blow it up. Oh wait, wait. I thought we were blowing up the gate or something. What are we even blowing up? This is going to be no walk in the park. Oh, yes. The alternative rock guitar riffs that kick in in this game. In all these games. So good. You tell the graphics are the best in this one out of the three. Like more detail here. But they're all like fine. We can both use your team against AI or real people. Oh wow, that's awesome. Okay. attack here. Two range. Each other. 
There you go. I've had it. It's not the best move. I mean, I'd rather have something that just straight up kills the enemies, but yeah, it makes them go a little berserk. Look, they're still attacking me, though. Lift. Oh, nice. A little, bit of, a little bit of armor. I got a shotgun. Oh, look at that dodge right there. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. These guys are easy to kill anyways. Alright, level 3 range now. We've been having to use range here because there's a lot of them. It still seems to take 3 shots to kill one. Maybe it's... Hang on, let me test this. 1, 2, 3... There's no like indications when you're getting hit either, like you'll just be running by enemies and you'll take damage, so you have to like keep an eye on your health for sure. Oh, my shield's already almost gone. Oh, it doesn't even look like I'm getting hit. Oh, gosh. I'm gonna level up my range again. Hopefully I can start killing them a lot easier. Another explosive? Like, why do they keep giving me. Or is that incendiary ammo? Yeah, well, that's what that is. It doesn't seem to be killing them any faster. Something over there. It still takes like three shots to kill him. Confused. Like, what does. Let me look at the manual here. Like, does the upgrade actually increase the strength of it, or is it something else pertaining to it? Uh, show da, 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 Audio video. Experience meters. Well, every time you gain experience in the edge, like when you fill up the bar, you gain new edges. Okay. Uh, 
just says you it increases your abilities in that area basically when you level it up so <laughs> I'm assuming we're getting stronger maybe she's reloading a little faster I don't know maybe she has more range to her shots I don't seem to be any stronger though I'm like almost level 5 range too Getting some new edges would be great, because uh, I don't really like the one I have too much. I mean, it's alright, but I think it'd be better for, for like, a co-op game, as opposed to playing by myself here. But let's use it so we can kind of level it up a little bit. Oh, I don't. I can't use it again. And there's a way to increase your health. Probably not in this one. Then, oh shoot! Place charge here by pressing the action button. All right. Let's go do it. Are we gonna get timed? No, okay, that's good. Oh gosh, big werewolves. Let's get our melee back out. Oh man, I'm in the middle of so much right now. Lots of lots of things coming at me here. A weapon over here. There we go. So you have like special weapons. Oh, I have this thing. So I could use this. Oh gosh. I need to do it all in that amount of time. I can do this. There's a couple there. And two more on the other side. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get the health and get out of there. <laughs> there we go. Get back to the street before it blows. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Luckily she can jump really well. Dude, we're level 6 range now. I hope this is the right path. <laughs> I don't know if it is. Oh gosh. Oh, here's the shield thing. Yeah, this is it, because this is where we got the shield. I love that you can, like, run and shoot in this game, in these games. There we go. It's coffee. Nice coffee. Alright. Nothing was unlocked in this level. Zero rescues. Oh, I need to get more rescues. Because rescues can give you more continues, which is essentially how we're even going to be able to beat this game. Save it again. It's another level down. Not too bad so far. Really fun. So they're kind of like, you know, they play kind of like a Diablo type of thing. They're just not as like intricate or as de as deep as like a Diablo type of game. And obviously not like an open world, it's more like level based. But uh They went to the club. <laughs> Everybody, every monster in the club getting tipsy. Why didn't they go to the club?
still waiting to see like a major increase in my range attack. I think this is up to how many players is it? Well, this is goes up to four. Actually, I think they all do, which is really awesome. You can do couch call with up to four people here on these games. So we haven't even died yet. That's good. Got to save as many lives. We gotta explore more though, so that way we can save some character, save some people, and get some more uh, continues and stuff. There we go. Nice. Like take like you know every path and kind of see what's there. Definitely want to save your special weapons for when you get like you know like chased by all those monsters and werewolves that was like the last end of the last level. Like you don't want to use them up like right here where it's like easier and manageable. Save them for something special. Like this is a good time to grind our melee a little bit, so Those like glyphs that refill your health and stuff, maybe that's what that is. Alright, level 5 melee, here we go. Let's use this again. Just because I like. <laughs> I just want to be able to like get different abilities. Looks like Mickey Mouse's glove up there, <laughs> kinda. There you go, enjoy that. Oh good, more ammo for that. Hey, Christmas tree. This isn't a Christmas game, what? <laughs> well, I guess maybe it takes place around Christmas, huh? Poison ammo. Ooh. So let's, uh, let's use that. Oh, that's what freezes them, or kind of a little bit. It is, like I said, we gotta explore a little bit more. It is worth exploring in these games to find, you know, extra weapons. And of course, like, civilians to save, to get extra lives and all that. Like what's over here? Like, there could be something over here. Some... Paralytic ammo. There we go.
Where's that noise? <laughs> What's this? This glyph is used by hunters to indicate monster layers and havens. It's like someone is trying to guide you. Oh, they want me to go that way. Alright, well. You can't get lost in these because there's like no map screen or anything. Sometimes a lot of the areas look the same. What are you playing tonight? I'm playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre, if you have that one. What's up, man? Got the skeleton? Oh, yeah, it's, I'm going to do nothing but horror games till through October, dude. So if there's any that you... Like, I'll be playing Dead by Daylight some nights. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What else? For, like, multiplayer. State of K2. D d d d d it's all horror. All horror all month long. So I won't be playing like Crash Team Rumble. Well, actually, I will because they're doing a Halloween event. So I will be playing some of that later on in the month. I won't be playing like Zelda or Starfield. Anything? You gonna do some online? All right, good luck, Nick. Hopefully you win. You got a team there. You got a good team. See, right now I'm getting lost here. I don't even know like which way is the right way. There's a glyph over there for shield. Oh, those little spider things. They're back in this game. They like blow up, yeah. hate them. I like the tickers from Gears of War. Did we go back around in a circle? I'm confused. This game equals Resident Evil, Silent Hill, Devil May Cry. <laughs> it's got a little bit of everything. Diablo as well, I would say. These games are so good. These Hunter games. Dude, they're like... They're all four-player co-op, too. Fortunately, I don't think they... I don't know if they're released on any of the modern consoles. On, like, digitally or anything. I'm not sure. Maybe. Our oh, melee's, I mean, our range is going to level up to 8. There it is. Still don't see a significant change in the damage. Let's keep shooting them. Alright, let's get back out our sword. Kill my one. Have that! Huh! You're playing Fortnite? I'm not playing Fortnite tonight. <laughs> I think Jess is playing, no? She was... She was on it. I saw her, like, on her Switch. I don't know if she's playing it, though. I probably won't play Fortnite again until November, honestly. Unless they have, like, a Halloween event or something going on that I don't know about. I think she's playing, though. Let's see, let me see if she's... She was thinking about it because she wanted to get more V-Bucks or something. Because she's trying to like level up the battle pass. So she can get more V-Bucks. She was playing some Don't Star while I was at work. <laughs> Only a little bit, but she you know, she loves that game. You don't starve. You have a thousand rating advantage on your opponent. What the heck? A thousand? Yeah, see if she's on. Invite her in. I don't know if she's still on in the menus or not. Because literally, like before I was streaming, I saw her on her Switch. She had the Fortnite was all on. I was like, oh, you're gonna play that? She's like, maybe. 
I thought she was gonna play more Don't Starve, but. Duos is hard too. I mean, I think they all can be hard. Depends on like what opponents you get, man. It's like sometimes you get opponents that are just like so good and know where to go, and they get all these good weapons. Freaking hard, though. If there's anybody else in chat that will play, who else usually plays? Like Bloom, Nick. Lavelle. Garrett, you hit up Garrett too. Garrett might want to play. He like really wants to play Dead by Daylight. I'm like, yeah, we'll be playing that this month. So I gotta let him know when I go to play that. Next playing E-Football, which is a... Uh, yeah, really good gameplay. I'm like, I'll get back to all the uh, all the other stuff after after October. I got a lot uh, got a lot of good stuff planned for this month. I don't know. Hopefully, we'll have time for a good amount of stuff. But. So I'm gonna be working all month and other things. Got a lot of good experience, but I still don't know where I'm going. Is this it? Oh, right there. I need to save people so I can get some free free guys here. Looks like we're on the right path though. So I kind of wish at times I could like lean the camera down a little bit, like angle it down so I can see more straight ahead. But oh well. You can't get in here without a membership. Take a hike. What about there's like all the monsters are all running around. I'm literally like the only human on the streets. Looks like I have to figure out a way to get in. Yeah, here's my way to get in. Are you serious, dude? What's the objective for this? Two of two not complete. Find Ripper's nightclub. Get into the nightclub. <laughs> so the getting in part is not what we was what we haven't completed. It's halftime. You don't know why the person hasn't quit. You don't know if they're even real. Why? What? What's? <laughs> I mean, if they have a gamer tag name, then yeah, they probably are. I think you can play, yeah, like you said, you can play matches against AI like you've been doing. But if you're playing online, it should be. Should be good. Against real people. Alright, how do we get into this nightclub? Let's see. Do one of these monsters have a membership for me? Literally every other person on the street is like murdered and then I stroll up there like nope can't get in like why are you even open? it's literally the end of the world out here guiding me, but I need something else. So 
second game had like a, the apartment you would go to, right? In between like missions. It's like a hub. I don't know if this game has a hub or not. So I don't know. I don't know. We've been like all over here. Get my melee up again. There we go. So far, the upgrades seem to be doing nothing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't feel like I'm killing them any faster. Unless you need like a certain amount of levels upgraded on it before it actually starts to feel like you've gained power with it. Uh, there's something over there we haven't been to. At least we're getting a lot of good grinding in here, even though I don't even want to do it. Ten to nothing? <laughs> Not a shot. What the heck? Hey, at least they at least they didn't quit. I gotta. I would give them that. You beat somebody ten nothing, and they finish the match. I give them props because most people quit after going down by like two or three goals. Honestly, usually in those kind of games, they like quit on you. Happens in Rocket League all the time. People be like, quit, because they go down by like a goal. I'm like, why? The fact that they finished the match is pretty surprising. And they both had hat tricks. <laughs> they had enough to each get two hat tricks there. Because I'm somebody too. If I'm getting beat down in an online game, I do finish. I don't like quit. Like I'll take my losses. I've gotten beat down in so many Smash uh, Super Super Mario Strikers matches, and still played to the end. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I think I just keep going around the same circles. <laughs> Your usual rules if you if your player gets a hat trick you sub them off. Yeah, that's usually how it is in like real life too. If a player gets a hat trick, they usually get subbed off to get that curtain call. Or if it's the other way around when they have like two goals, usually the coach leaves them in to see if they can get the third. Increased our melee once again. I still don't know where to go. We've been through all these areas. Like I said, I can't get in without a membership.
the beginning of the level again. Huh. This is where I wish we had like a map or something. Let me see. Like if there's a membership somewhere, I guess we gotta find that. Or maybe there's just an alternate way in. That I'm not finding. this like do I have to activate all the glyphs that are leading me somewhere back towards the club and see what's going in. Go for some competition in the next one. Do you notice who do they have on their team? Maybe they didn't even have anybody good. Maybe they just don't play that maybe it's like their first time playing. I think it might have been a bot. Oh, I mean, it could have been to introduce the game mode. Oh, wait, who's this guy? Oh, gosh. If you get me to the gun shop, I can get you the nightclub. All right. I didn't see this dude standing here. So he's not waiting up for us. Come on. Shouldn't be too bad because we've killed most of the monsters around, so. I assume he's leading the way because I don't know where I'm going. Alright, there we go. Now we're good. That was easier than I thought it was. Anything that's good to use when I'm crowded by a bunch of enemies, it can like distract some of them. Last team did have Messi. Oh. <laughs> the new opponent's definitely real. Okay, good. I have some fun. Dude, who's this freaking guy? Oh my gosh. Dude, he's gonna kill me. Get me into the nightclub. Hurry. Wow, alright, we beat it without dying. We have 10 lives right now. That's actually kind of wild. It's a lot. That's a lot, guys. All right. Hopefully, Anthony got into a Fortnite match there. So I don't know if Jesse's playing. This game I got for 20 bucks. New. EB Games, guys. Look at the sticker up there. EB Games, $20. New release. 
Remember I got this when I when I when I bought this game back in the day. I thought this was the second game because I didn't know Hunter the Reckoning Wayward even existed. You know, I remember I just loved the Hunter the Reckoning on GameCube. And I saw this, I must have seen this in the shop and was like, "Ooh, I want to get that." And then later, you know, like what, 2 years ago or something, I discovered that Wayward was a game and I bought that off eBay. We played that. Like, what the heck is it? Like, when did that happen, you know? Wait, what, what are we gearing up for here? A dance party? With the zombies? Or are those not zombies? Or some of them may be zombies. I don't know. <laughs> New objective. Dance your way to the goal. Those rocks seem to be dealt with. I'll wait before they've done something threatening before I attack. So if I don't get attacked by anybody, I can't use my weapon. I see. <laughs> We're at the disco. Plenty of drinks back there. We're at the disco. So what am I supposed to do? Everybody's lost their minds. The zombies aren't even attacking me. Oh wait. An innocent's been saved. Good. What do you want? Oh, it's a zombie. I think? I don't know. I, I saved another innocent, that's good. Get out of here. Zombies. Bonus continue awarded. Nice. Okay, that's good. I don't know. This is a weird part. I don't know what's going on. I hope that these are zombies and not the people. A key has been dropped. A key has been found. Okay. They quit? Oh, that's the person you made quit now. 3 nothing win before the half. Goodness me. Lighten it up already, Nick. And like, see, that's like, people will like quit if they go down by a couple goals. It's, it's kind of annoying. Like they can't take defeat or something. The people who game and quit all the time when losing, you know, 
Those are the people that I hope keep losing no matter what, you know? Like, they don't deserve to win games if they're just gonna quit every time they go down in a match. Because they can't take a loss. They'd rather forfeit than... So what's the key for? Unless I need another one. This part's very confusing, like... Killing anybody they think is a zombie. I feel like I would have to open up this door with the key, right? But it doesn't do anything. Hmm. And can't get through here. There's no way he was gonna win. I know, but he should finish. He should finish the game. When you get somebody to quit, you know you're doing good. <laughs> Already, man. Three nothing. You've also really wanted to play COD Zombies recently. Speaking of killing zombies, oh really? Uh, which which Call of Duty one, Nick? I like Call of Duty Zombies actually. The last one I played was on Black Ops 4. In fact, I'd be down to play one of those with the, uh, the zombie thing sometime. That'd be cool. I haven't played it in such a long time. I have Call of Duty 4, Black Ops 4, and I have um, World War 2 are the only ones I have. I like zombies anyways. Black Ops 4 pretty much only has, uh, wait, I'm going out that door the whole time? I thought that was the way I came in. Oh my gosh. The camera didn't really show me the door, so I couldn't, couldn't tell. But, like, because yeah, Black Ops 4 is, is fun, it just doesn't have, like, any campaign, so I would just, I would just play, like, basically the, the zombie mode. When it came out, ooh, somebody's got Mbappe. The speed there, the speed. Oh, whichever one. Well, which ones do you have, Nick? Do you have any? Other Call of Duty ones? Because like, the, the couple Call of Duty games I own were ones that just looked interesting when they were coming out. Like, the new one coming out this year, I, I have really have no interest in because it's basically just like old maps or something. I, I heard it's like a glorified DLC that they're selling for like $70 or something. Um, so I'm like, no thanks on that. But uh, there's been like the Cold War one looked kind of cool. I think what other ones like got my interest. Oh, does your friend Sean have like all of them? I said, I typically don't buy them very often. I own three Call of Duty games. Like, they're games I enjoy, but I don't think that they're worth all the hype that they get, honestly. Like, everybody gets so pumped for them, I'm like, but they come out, like, every year, like... I mean, I guess if you're a big fan, you know, you get excited, but some of them just look like... 
Not that interesting, I guess. Whoa, that one's got a freaking machine gun. What the heck? Alright, two can play this game. I'll give you to the count of three to get your filthy... <laughs> Whatever that quote was from home. Alright, um... Because Black Ops 4 is pretty good gameplay. World War 2 though. World War 2 is probably the best Call of Duty game I've ever tried. I think like that campaign was really good. The zombies is pretty fun in that. That's like a really good game. The other one I have is Call of Duty Ghosts, but I don't think that one has zombies in it. And it's on the 360. Let's get our let's get our range weapon up to 10. <laughs> Wait, one of your players missed the header? Like completely missed the header on defense, like a defensive clearance. Is against the Mbappe team. There we go. Whoa! Time for a little another dance party of a different variety. skill has increased but has it though because it doesn't feel like it does get increased Stop. Oh, we're off. That's a shame. Alright, let's get back out the regular gun. Let's go through here. Oh, from the corner. player just like straight up missed the header. Sounds like something FIFA would do. Right. You all need to go back to your little dance party here. Oh gosh, like Die for the first time. Ooh. Oh, you you get a health upgrade when you, you your health refills when you upgrade a skill. That's actually really good.
There we go. Gosh, there's just bodies everywhere. Collectible card has been found. Killing me. Also, why am I just going in a big circle? Like, where does this even lead to? Ah, these freaking. Where's that even coming from? There we go. We upgraded that skill to heal. Now I need to like get to who's ever shooting me needs to die. There's just zombies <laughs> flying in everywhere. That's you. Oh my gosh, dude. He's like vampire chicks I right, get him get him get him oh I died it's our first death it's all because of their machine guns really I can't get there we go there's the key I need Well, you can still come back. You can still come back. Sometimes that happens, though. Anytime, that's why it's like... Online gaming is always a mixed bag because you don't know what's going to happen. Or how what's going to happen with the opponent, either. It's always a mixed bag. You just got to take your shots on the chin and just keep going. You, you're the one still shooting me. If that was our first death, that's not bad. Ah! Well, what did I get the key for? I don't even know how to leave this area. <laughs> Where do I even go? Back through here? Melee certainly seems stronger now. Like I'm like killing them in like one hit. Some of them. And it's like some of them. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, look at that. I'm about to level it up again too. Yeah, I mean, I've lost to opponents on, like, uh, Pez before, where I was, like, I would dominate a match. Get, like, like, you know, a lot of shots. Way more shots, way more possession. And, um, they would get, like, one or two chances, and they would score. And then for some reason, I just couldn't score. 
and I would lose, and I'm losing. Like, it's tough, but <laughs> they just gotta move on to the next game. Like, I would get, I would clearly dominate a game and somehow not win. Alright, so where am I going with this new key? Because there, there's like no new doors or something. Like, this nightclub area is really weird. back into the main dance floor like can I open this door now maybe nope oh okay now we can go out there that gun. Use up one of my other ones. What is this thing? A flamethrower? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's keep that. Never mind. with FIFA is the passing. Mine with FIFA is just the... I don't know. Like, I, I, I feel like I would always get bored playing it and like, it's so... The way like, players can just skate around you because it doesn't feel natural and it just always annoyed me. Like the movements don't feel realistic or natural at all in FIFA. Maybe just take a break. Cheap things can happen in that game, just like FIFA, though. <laughs> what does this do? Oh, okay. This guy again? He was in, like, the second game or something. to Mbappe. Oh yeah, with the speed. They're going to just play that over the top. And their keeper had four or five big saves, huh? Lucky. Sometimes it, they get lucky. It's alright though, man. Don't, don't let it bother you that much. You'll, uh, you'll definitely you'll definitely get your victories after that. Yeah, no, that happened to me too. It happened to me with those kind of stats in uh, Pez 2019, my club. Whoa, what is happening? Oh wow, we got a freaking boss here. I'm gonna die. Right. 
he's really gonna have people with machine guns shoot me the whole time. Cause that's gonna be so annoying. I'm definitely not gonna survive this. Well, there he goes, another life. Alright, you know what? Dude, am I not hitting him? He killed me again. What is this? Okay, apparently that's not damaging him. Ooh, his health bar is not going down. It's barely damaging him. Why? Oh, there's no... How am I going to do this? Dude, the fact that they're shooting you the whole time. Oh my gosh. This might be too hard for me to do by myself. Jeez. Oh, like, what the heck? I'm getting knocked down by him and then they're just shooting me. So I don't, like, what do I do? I feel like I'm not damaging him. It's so slow. I can't stay away from him. Either. Well, if his little minions go away, I might have a chance. Right, here we go. Yeah, this is better. His little minions went away. That was a real problem. He is hard because he's like, he's fast. Yeah, there we go. Gonna run out of ammo with this stuff. I think he has two health bars, the red and the yellow one. I've lost, I'm gonna lose all my lives here. The game rewards bad gameplay and doesn't give any rewards for dribbling away from them this year. Slide tackles, yeah. It's tough. It's like with online, it's it's always hard to like to find that balance. Just stick to your game plan, you know. I say, just just keep playing your game. You'll be fine. Like losses are gonna happen, unlucky ones. I had I literally had games where I would like outshoot opponents like ten to one and lose, like one nothing. Because they'll get one chance with like their star striker, and I would get all these like chances and shots that just wouldn't go in for some reason. But then I would also go back and I would beat a team like three nothing that I should that I shouldn't have beaten on paper, you know. Is he shooting me now, dude? He has three health bars. Oh, we gotta be kidding me here. There's no way. This might be game over, guys. Might be as far as we get. I can't damage him. And all my special weapons are gone. All I have now is... how little damage this does. Oh, this is going to take all night. Half the time I'm not even hitting them. Keep going in the circle though. 
sure there's a way to lock on to him. You can't, like, lock on. I have to like aim in that general direction. Hope that you hit him. And I'm damaging him is just very slow, but at least he's not hitting me right now. I, I don't know even know how many lives I have left. What do I have? Does it tell me? I'm not even sure how many lives I have left. I've lost like probably at least four or five already here. I mean, I might have like two left or something. You're gonna need a game. Definitely gonna need to gain some more lives. The boss fights are not where these games shine though. I think in every game the boss fights are just so jank and something like downright just hard because of how much they damage you and how, how fast you can die. Like I said, you die really fast in these games when you're getting hit. Alright, this is his last health bar. <laughs> and I'm like a lick away from dying again. Like if my... I got, I'm not close to upgrading anything either, so you know, if I could... I would upgrade something and then try to. You, you would just heal that way. But as it stands, this is what we're gonna have to do the rest of the fight. This is with level 12 range too. Imagine if you were like only like level six or seven with range. Even one of those bullets hits me, I'm dead. <laughs> this is ridiculous. He's not even changing up what he's doing either. Like, we're just literally going in a circle. The hardest part of this is just staying concentrated enough with the movement on the, th on the thumbsticks here. Making sure I'm still, like, aiming towards him when I can. This might be the end of the level, so hopefully we can see how many lives they have left after this. What? And then he does that crap. You gotta be kidding me. Now he's going back to doing this. Having trouble with the passing in that? Deepest passing is pretty bad too. Like, I get to like trying to make it more realistic because not every pass is gonna land. I feel like I think in that one there's like more interceptions. There is manual passing too. If you turn that on, it might help with like where you're aiming. Dude, he killed me again with that crap. Oh, this fight's awful. Awful. He might actually kill me again. I can't get away from him. Oh, yeah, go back to doing that. I like it better when you're trying to shoot me here. I almost got him. What a grindy fight this is. I'm just worried we might have enough lives to like continue the game. Too? Oh, okay.
Shadowlands. If you're playing against online too, though, I think like sometimes the there's lag too and everything. I don't know. So like Pez is always better when you're just playing like offline for me. Like I enjoyed like my club when I played of it, but it's just for me. I always enjoyed the Master League more than anything. Or just playing locally with like friends. Like if you and I play, it'll probably be a lot of fun because we don't have to deal with like any online BS. So we have. Oh, we have nine lives left? Okay. So we must have got a lot of extra lives there because we got all the rescues. I think you get a life for each rescue. So that's huge. All right, on to the next the next one. Um, oh, we're on level, like, what, four or something already? It's way more fun offline. It's terrible online. Yeah, I don't think... The online's probably not that good with that yet, honestly. Like, when I played Dream Team, it was very laggy when I played it, like, when it first came out. It just wasn't that enjoyable at all. Like, but Konami's known for not having the best servers, not the best online play either, compared to, like, FIFA actually, you know, probably has better servers because they have more money and all that. So there's probably less lag and stuff. I say, like, offline play... I think eFootball and Pez is like so much better. Like, it just for me, it always has been. When I played online, my club, because I did it like you when I did my club before, which is basically a dream team now. I was, I would play like some matches online and some matches just against computer opponents. And usually the ones against computer opponents were like, you know, they, I didn't have the problems I did online because I had some of the same things you did. The passing would be off, there'd be lag to players kicking the ball uh, at times. And, yeah, there'd be times where I dominate the match, shots and possession, and still lose like one nothing somehow. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh well. All right. Let's keep it going. All right, so now we're bringing him somewhere. I don't even know. Lucian. I'm gonna make sure he doesn't die. Now when this idiot is gonna run right into the heart of the enemies. Alright. Alright. Where are we even going? So if he doesn't follow me, then I don't know what to do. Where is he? Come on, Lucian. Don't stop for every enemy. Please don't do that. Because they keep coming. Oh, shoot. What? What is happening? I gotta kill the big guy. My gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh, this is gonna be a hard mission because this guy's so stupid. He's just running right into him. I'm trying to kill the big one. Oh, I died? Is he dead? He's dead. Right, come on, let's go, Lucian. He's already like halfway dead. Because like if he sits there and just fights all these enemies, they don't stop coming, so... Come on, Lucian. Yeah, these guys are covering you now. There we go, there we go. here either. The 
big guy still alive? Oh crap, look at all these. Hang on. There. Alright, alright, how much further do we have to take this guy? He doesn't even stay with me, he just goes wherever he's going. Come on. Yeah, online, I said, it's, I don't think, like, for me, like, the experience of those games aren't best online. But at least the game's free. Yeah, I know. At least it's free. <laughs> So when you and I play, I should probably be the last. It'd be kind of sick, like when they do a master league. Like if we could do a master league together online, and like build a team. You know how we did in like Pez 2017 back in the day. Like if we could like each play together in matches, that would be so awesome. Like like say if I start a team, a club. And like you would play along the matches that you could like whenever you're around, and we like you help me like sign players and all that. See if we can win some Champions League. That'd be super cool. I know, like that's what I want. Like they just need to hurry up and get Master League into the game. Konami's taking forever. Cause that'd be that'd be awesome, dude. Cause then we could just do it for like however many seasons we want. Just keep building a team. We could build, sign players from our youth system, bring them up, and develop them as like star players, and then try to build like good players around that, signing like whoever we could. The better we do, the bigger stars. Because my Pez 2020 um, Master League was super fun. You know, I ended up getting Christian Pulisic, who was like a major, him and Alfonso Davies. For like two major reasons why I won the Champions League in my final season. It was just incredible. My defense, I had like, but I also had a bunch of no name guys that I was just like going out there with. Even, and players from my own academy and stuff. Oh, so fun, so fun. No Coutinho though. <laughs> You know what, you could strategize this to like almost, like have each thing almost leveled up, but that way like you can like, you have a couple free heals in there, essentially. If you get everything to just the brink of being leveled up, then you could switch to it, use it, and then heal if you need to. Because you, like I said, you automatically heal each skill you level up. Hey, come on Lucian, we're doing good, we're doing good. I'll go get more backup here. Like there. Let's see, I almost got my melee leveled up. Let's work on our range. Big guy's coming. I don't have any special weapons though. We'll get up, get up, get up, get up. Dude, he's gonna kill Lucian. I gotta keep my distance. Oh, he took him out. Goodness me. Alright. I can level up. Bring this up a bit. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Can't get through there. All 
any player is there any player you would want to play with in this game get at least their base version and level them up oh um you know what there is a defender named Jack Elliott uh, Nick plays for Philadelphia Union him <laughs> or no actually I mean he's he's like he's not a young player but he's a good player but Jack Elliott because that's a uh, that's Jesse's like favorite player right now he's a 6-6 defender for the Union Philadelphia and Whatever the I don't know what they call it in that game, like the North America League or something. I don't know. He's a British, uh, British uh, center back. He's really good. He's one of the better center backs in MLS. He's uh, he's very solid. And at six six, he wins a lot in the air, and he's pretty quick too, and he's good on the ball as well. He's also has a couple two goal games in his career including MLS Cup last year so he like scores goals for a defender as well he's really good Let's see if you can find him what's up Apple Bandicoot what game is this this isn't Jumper well <laughs> not as scary as Jumper that's for sure this, this is Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer great game great series great series of games Enjoying the beginning of Zero Wing here. Dude, there's like so many of these big guys. Lucian, be careful. Like cool, looks like uh, cool, like Devil May Cry. You're the second person that's compared it to Devil May Cry, but tonight, you know, I, I am, yes, I am off on the weekends. Fortunately, I won't be able to stream tomorrow, I don't think, because I won't be home for most of the day. But Sunday night, maybe, is the next one. Sad frog face indeed. Yes, this is a this is the third game in a series of three. These hunter games. They're all they're all really fun. Not super long. Like I don't know. Maybe this one's the longest of the three. I said I've never beaten this game. I don't even remember how far I've gotten into this game before, because it's been forever since I played it. This uh, it wasn't backwards compatible or anything. So. I had to wait till I got an original Xbox again to to play this. Really excited to be playing an original Xbox now. A lot of stuff on there. It's like it's a library I don't I haven't tapped into that much in my lifetime. I mean I have like a fair amount of games from when I was a kid still, but then I also have been buying some newer ones, but there's a lot on this console. Forward, maybe getting some platformers for it next year. Now, where do we go now? You guys will go get Taco Bell to cheer yourself up. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that will that will do it. That will do it. What? Why are they going to open fire on me? I just literally saved your boss, whoever, Mr. Lucian. Be like, you can't get by here, otherwise we'll fire on you. Like, what? 
I just escorted your boss across the streets, defeating like a hundred monsters. I'm on the same team as you guys. <laughs> Why would they shoot me? I'm not even sure where I'm going. There's not really a direction in this game all the time. So if I play this game a little bit longer, then maybe switch to, to something else. Because we've already knocked out like you know, four or five levels of this. Pretty good. Pretty good start. Where the heck am I going? Is it really having me go all the way back to the beginning of the level? Good to be the king. Is that a Budweiser uh, ad up there? <laughs> so it looks like. Yeah, yeah, I saw they had added a new map into that one, the uh, the Cortex one, right? Very cool. I'm glad they're putting more and more stuff in there. Probably check that out like later this month when the uh, Halloween event is going on. We'll get a look at it. Hope it's a little bit bigger than the uh, Bogged Down map. I like Bogged Down's cool, but it's like probably one of the least fun maps. And it's like it's it's like a little bit too small. circles now. So this game gives you no direction. Like half the time they're just like again they really need like some kind of map screen for these games. Found a collectible card. And I upgraded my melee attack. Incendiary ammo. Here, try this. What? Guess I'm heading the right way. Wumpabat's a game changer. Yeah, on that map. I know, it's another thing. It's like, Wumpabat is so OP now. Like, any team that gets him is pretty much guaranteed to win. Unless your whole team just gangs up on it as soon as it appears. Are you eating ice cream right now? Is that what you got? <laughs> Good old ice cream. Armor glyph, okay. I guess this is the right way. I don't know. I 
This is like all the way back. Back in the nightclub. What the heck? This way is blocked too, so I guess we aren't going over here. Strange. You work and walk to the calories. Kind of off. Kind of. <laughs> yeah, hey, you know. Justifies you eating it, right? Speaking of sweets, we have a trick or treat redemption. What's different to the old Halloween candy bowl? Um, Alright, this time I'm not even going to look what I'm pulling out. I'm just going to grab something. And whatever it might be. Alright, we have something in my hand. I don't know what it is because we put a few new things in here. Uh, something that my girlfriend put in. Which is this. We have a Laffy Taffy Taffy Grape. This is probably going to be pretty good. This is what we got. I need to like put healthier snacks in here probably like later in the month. <laughs> so I'm not eating candy all month. Like maybe like some some almonds or something. That's good. figure out where we're going. What's this sus fan doing here too? So far, I'd say that's my only gripe with the game, besides the, you know, the, the awful boss fight. I think this one of the other games had this problem too, where like you really don't know where you're going sometimes. Like they just give you like a task and you don't really know. Help Genifex the security teams fight off the werewolves. I already did that. Find a way into the Genifex lab. So again, it's like find a way. Why aren't they letting me in? Like these guys say turn back now. Wait, can I get in now? I guess I can't. Well, these guys are killing me. What the heck? This, wait, this, this is making no sense, because they were, like, helping us before, and now we gotta kill them to steal their key? To get in? <laughs> I'm so confused. Why are we against them now? Uh, maybe I didn't pay attention during a cutscene or something. Because, like, we were helping Lucian. We get over here. And they were, like, protecting him, too, so I don't know. What did I miss? That's right. All right, another level down. We have eleven lives. 
pretty good. Let me look up how many levels are in this game. That way we can always kind of judge how far into a game we are and what's left like when we go into like another stream of it. Um, I don't even know what level we're on, probably five, six, something like that. Gather evidence against Genifex by collecting encoded disks and decrypting them in the computer terminals. You need to decrypt them in the same lab you find them in. Okay. All right. We'll do that. How many levels? Oh, shoot. Let me pause it. <laughs> Hunter. The Reckoning. Redeemer. Wait, this is a 20 hour game? Wait, there's no way. Hang on. You're still playing online? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Yeah, it says, yeah, no, nobody's ever said, like, eFootball is better online. It's said they are not known for being great online experiences. Like, ever. Oh, wait, oh, this isn't a 20-hour game. Wait, that's... I'm just trying to figure out how long the game is. It doesn't really show you like the levels. I'm still gonna walk through to see like where. They have it broken into four parts. Apparently I'm somewhere in part two. So I'm like already almost, kind of almost halfway through the game. I don't know, we'll beat like, we'll probably try to finish like another level here. Yeah, I enjoy offline more anyways, yeah. Online play is just bad on those. Is the new soccer game actually better than FIFA? E-football? Overall, it, pro it probably isn't. Um, I mean, the gameplay is probably better, but online's worse, I guess. And I don't know, I haven't played the new FIFA game, but I can't really speak on it. But I wouldn't... It, 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 one's free to play, one's a full fledged game, so generally, you know, the EA Sports one's gonna have more, more, more stuff in it. And like, eFootball's still a work in progress. Like, Konami's like updating it and trying to get it better. It was so bad when it launched, but it's getting better. But it used to be a lot better as. as under the name Pro Evolution Soccer. Oh well, we have doors to go in. Well. Get him! Slice and dice him. Yeah, eFootball is also a free-to-play game, so yeah, it's... Okay, airlock 
Axe calibrated. Dude, there's lots of hats here. So I gotta get the data, encrypt it in the room I find it in, so there might be some here. I get rid of all the guys with the guns first. There's a key. You got Elliot? Nice. Yeah, he probably wasn't even expensive, right? He's probably a cheap card. That's going to make Jesse happy, too. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, you can build a... I don't know how good he's going to be in the game, but... Because they don't even, like... I don't know how much research they do on, like, MLS players, but... In ML by MLS standards, he's one of the best uh, center backs. Because the Union are generally one of the better defensive teams in the league lately. Right, we got the we got the disc. Because I'd probably try to sign him too if I do. In fact, the dream team I started before, I think I might have actually had him <laughs> on my team. Did it work? I don't know. Is that was that the data I entered? I don't know what's going on. Okay, I guess I did it. It says insert one of the terminals. I guess one of those ones I was just at. I'll double check other computers just to make sure. like that was it okay let's go so I'll play off with their base stats and then the player can level them up from there you got to an 83 oh by spending some points on him that's not even the max you can get him okay wow okay he's, he can be an 83 already that's good Cause I don't know what his base rating is. Is it probably like in the 70s or something? I would assume. Now, where did I come from? Is this where I came from? 74. Yeah, that seems pretty fair. Door? I went in this door, right? so we haven't been in this other one over here. Try to stay on track here. Gotta get his pace up a bit, yeah. all about Whoa. I'll slice you down Your shield can't stop that all right let it do his decompression thing I know there's enemies coming at me, so I'm just shooting down there. And I can see the experience going up. Yeah, 
Anyone else? Uh, probably... How about, uh, Gordon from Newcastle? I wonder how he's gonna be. Do you know Gordon? I think his name's like Alan Gordon or Aaron Gordon, something like that. I forget his name, my gosh. Blonde. I think he's a winger or midfielder. Cause I've seen him play out for Newcastle a few times and he seems pretty solid. He scored a nice goal in one of their last games. Search up here, I think. See, I think after this level, we'll um, I'll be caught on this game, then I'll play something else for a bit tonight. There we go. Okay. Yeah, Gordon. Newcastle. I know they aren't called Newcastle United in that, but they probably somewhere along those lines. Who were some of the players that we signed before back in Fez 2017? I remember having a guy named Rene Adelaide. Remember, he was like pretty good. We had like Alexander Arnold, didn't we? We had some good players. Alright, through here. Yeah, remember him, Rene Adelaide? Yeah, he was like good for us. Of course, we all know that Circus was the uh, was the real goat. Forget the coach's favorite player screen with circus like turning around. <laughs> that was hilarious. gun looks like it's upgraded. Hang on. Oh, because it has... There's like a knife on it or something. Skills up. We haven't gotten him when he was super young. Oh yeah, uh, Renee Adelaide and I think Oxley, not Oxley Chamberlain, but uh, Alexander Arnold as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Science of players you think will be good too for it. We can play as them. Let's have some fun. Oh, 
Also, Carlos Heel from the New England Revolution is a really good player, too. He would be probably be a really good signing. He's like a good dribbler. He can create. He can score. He's a good free kick taker. Get out of here. There's something wrong with the toxin. It's reaching. It's reacting strangely. I mean. What? Like freaking ghosts now. Okay. Or possessions. Ah. All these keys now. I need to do this. I need to do this. I have some help fighting here. Dude, chaos here. Again, the guys with the guns are the worst trouble to me, so I gotta get down. If I get rid of this, they can't possess them anymore, maybe. Holy ammo. Pulisic. Oh, yeah, Matt Turner, Christian Pulisic. Heal. Yeah, we have some good players then. That we can use. That'd be sick. I'm trying to think of there's another player from the US kind of like Brendan Aronson also a good player pure disc has been found inserted into one of these terminals to read it alright the last one we need maybe alright <laughs> So yeah, other than the boss fight, you're moving along pretty good in this game, like... So you really need to bank your lives for the boss fights. Because it was like that in the other games, too, like... The bosses always eat up so many lives, because they take forever to kill. And, uh, they usually kill you really fast. Out. More guys showing up here. If I build a Master League team, though, I think the first player I'm going to sign would be Alejandro Bedoya, because I want him to be my captain. <laughs> He's an older player, but very use very uh, useful. Just so I have like a captain right away that I know I can like rely on. Purple room here. Jeez, they're all shooting me at once. Say, so it's not as fun fighting like the humans as it is like all the the monsters and stuff, because it's just like they're just boring. They just like shoot you. Let me go through here. 
Hopefully this is the last room. There we go. Still a guy with a shield sitting right here. <laughs> Hunched over in the corner. Look at him. Worker, no, no, no. They trying to possess him? Well, they did. I think you get rid of these things. There you go. Jeez. Yeah, the guns can wipe out your health in no time. I really gotta like... The shirt, they're shooting that worker, like what? What did he do? What does it even possess? Probably do be doing more Last of Us pretty soon, guys. Because if we can finish up that in, in like the latest, like maybe second week of October or something, that'd be good. So this game, I'm anticipating not spending more than like three streams on, maybe or three episodes worth. But who knows, we have to do more than that, that's fine. Like, I wanna try to get through this. It'd be nice to have finished all of these games. We did it, okay. We have 12 lives left, very good. We need those for the bosses. We'll save it and probably end there. It'll save on the console, which is good. I do have an original Xbox memory card too, if I ever need that to save something. But we should be good. Most of it usually saves into the hard drive. Yeah, enjoying this one, guys. It's a it's Hunter. You know, it's always a good time. It's always good. Well, this one's in the dark too. That's gonna be cool to go back to. But we're gonna call it there with this game uh, for the night. About two and a half hours of Hunter Redeemer. Hope everybody enjoyed. Thank you for watching our first kind of new series we're starting here in Zeroween. More of this game to come soon. We'll try and finish this game up within within the week, probably, guys. So we can move on to other stuff. In its place. I got more games lined up, of course. Plenty of stuff. So thank you, thank you. Everybody that's come in tonight and watching on YouTube. 